welcome to Quick Shot Reviews for Cheap Shot Entertainment. As ever, I am your host, Luke, and you are the Cheap Shot Nation. And we're finally back in the cinema. We're finally seeing the new films that should have been released a year ago. Because Disney and we finally got the release of The New Mutants, a film that has been in purgatory since 2017. There were supposed to be multiple reshoots that never happened, so basically the film that's come out is the film that they had two years ago ready to release, but didn't. Let me tell you something, if it was released two years ago, it would have still been as bad as it was now. I mean, to take a movie that's been in purg movie purgatory for two years and release it now, after six months of people being in lockdown, after cinemas closing, after Hollywood being ground to a halt, releasing a film like this now was never going to be a good option. Um, you know, release it when there's more films coming out and they sort of get lost in the shuffle and we might just go and see it on the off chance, but when we went there was literally five people in the whole cinema, maybe seven, and three of them were me and my mates. <clears throat> so The New Mutants, officially released in 2020 but has been in purgatory since 2014 when the screenplay was finished in writing. It was directed and the screenplay was written by Jess, Josh Boone and it was released like I say, on the 28th of August 2020. It has fair to middling reviews. It's got a 42% approval, 42 on Metacritic, or 5.6 on IMDb and a rotten a really rotten 33% on Rotten Tomatoes. I think that's slightly unfair. It tries something new. There is very much um, strong elements of horror, definitely elements of sci-fi, and a little bit of thriller sort of action in there. Very little bit of thriller action. Um, and think that's where it fall, fell down for me. There was a lot of build up, but the end result was never as good or equal to the sum of the powers that were on display here. And as I understand it, I'm not a comic book reader, but as I understand it, The New Mutants is a comic book adap adaption of the same comics of the same name. And with that, Obviously you've got, um, this was pre-Disney when it was written, so it's now being released by Disney, if you like. And, yeah, they've not really upped it. You think X-Men, lots of action. No, there's very little action in this one. The set pieces are very predictable, and the characters are predictable. And there was so much chopping and changing. Some of the characters weren't, some of the actors and actresses weren't supposed to play the people that they ended up playing, and it's just, it was just a mess. It really was a mess. And um, I'm not going to feel bad by saying this. The whole film comes down to a bad dog down. And if you go and see this film, which you know it's up to you, go and see it. I'm not going to tell you not to. You'll know what I mean when I say that. Um, so, officially, the description of this movie is five young mutants just discovering their powers uh, and abilities are being held in a hospital, a secret facility, to help them discover what those potential powers are in the fight against evil, fight against their will, escape and try, try and escape this facility. They think they're going to be going off to be X-Men, but it turns out they're being uh, groomed by the Essex Corporation. Um, 
don't know. It was never explained who they were. So I just know that they were the, the, the hierarchy for the doctor that was running this hospital, which is very strange. There's only five patients in a massive hospital and one doctor. And in fact, I've only just thought about that and that's just, that's just dumb. <laughs> Especially when they've got mutant powers as well. Anyway, uh, fight to escape their past sins and save themselves. So all the way through this film, they are told they are saving them from themselves. They are saving other people from them and they're constantly being told that they are bad people all the time trying to say that they are good people. So which one is it? Are they bad or are they good? And I think I switched off from a lot of it when you know the the characters character arcs were so predictable they were, i predicted them within 20 minutes and it's an hour and a half film um yeah i i, I struggle to find some some I str i'm struggling to find words to even say how poor this movie actually was and say that there is some redeeming qualities we saw a little bit of side boob um, that gets half a stop and um, you know girl on girl action that gets another half stop although obviously there's nothing wrong with that but you know a hot blooded male you know that that works for me uh, and and I did check this before I say before I said it She's not actually 60 in the film, so I'm okay by seeing it. So there you go. Anyway, um, let's go through the characters. And for all the intents and purposes, the actors, actresses in this film are actually pretty good. They did what they did uh, with the material they were given. And I think this, this film could have been good if it wasn't left in purgatory if it was released in 2017 or last year it could have fit that middling ground um, it's certainly slightly better than dark phoenix which i don't know where that came from anyway but then don't know where this came from we haven't had an x-men movie for a while um, i think days of future past or something like that um, was the new newest x-men and and professor xavier was supposed to be in this and storm so there was no hierarchy of mutants so to speak to you know teach the young'uns and I thought that was a missing element as well um, so we've got Blue Hunt playing Danielle Moon who is the main protagonist Maisie Williams playing Rain Sinclair Anne Taylor-Joy plays Ileana Rasputin Charlie Heaton plays Sam Guthrie and Henry Zaga plays Robert De, De Costa, aka Sunspot. Now, I understand that Sunspot was in one of the X Men movies, so um, don't know if that directly channels downwards. I don't know, but thought that struck me as strange. Pretty cool powers, and and it's well visualised and things like that, but really put off by the extent of the CG and if it's 2017 CG used in 2020 um, you can see the the problems um, yeah. oh. Oh. struggling with this one. Alicia Braga plays Cecilia Reyes who is the doctor as well constantly telling the mutants that they're bad um, so of course they're going to get rogue aren't they and another X-Men that they didn't include in this one. Um, incidentally I found out through doing reading for this review that Marilyn Manson actually did the voice for the Smiley Men um, and uh, it was played by Dustin Seedhammer Sh who did the body contortions and things like that um, which is, I thought that was quite interesting I didn't even notice they had a voice I, I was too busy I mean that was probably one of the best parts of it like the horror elements of it were were pretty damn good uh, as a horror fan I can appreciate those but I don't think it has 
yes be dark but I don't think it has any sort of place in a Disney produced movie but obviously this wasn't Disney produced so yeah it's just a mess really is a mess you can tell it's been in purgatory and it's, it's had no reshoots or anything like that it's not a horrid movie I've seen a lot worse, at least this did try something new and I can give it a star for that. So if I was going to give this cheap shots out of 5 I'd probably give it a 2. Which is about the same as what everybody else has given it which is, which is good, it just means that I wasn't just, it wasn't just being me and just didn't like it, it's, it's other people also didn't like it as well. So. Um, so I'm going to give this film a down doggy out of a smiley man and I can because this is my movie channel and I can give whatever movie reviews I like. As long as you like them I'll keep doing them and even if you don't I'll keep doing them anyway because I like doing them. You are the Cheap Shot Nation, I've been your host Luke and this has been quick shot reviews for cheap shot entertainment and i will see you for more movie fun down the line and i will